Happy Monday, guys. Ms. Maxwell here. Today, we continue our spiral review, and today we are going to talk about percents. Our essential question for today is how can you represent a rate with 100 as a whole? And as we know, percents are always out of 100, which is our whole. So, the definition of percent, a rate in which the first term is compared to 100. The percent really is just the number of 100s that represent the actual whole. So, let's find out how we can actually represent that percent. So, for example, let's say seven out of 10 people like Crest toothpaste. How can we represent this three different ways using percent? And this is how, so the first step, well, the first way we can represent this is using a grid. And we know when we draw grids, they consist of cubes. And we know each cube it is worth one. So if we do this, well, each cube is actually worth 10. So if I make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I make 10 columns and I shade seven of those 10, actually, I'll take that back. So if I make 10 columns and each one is worth one, we have 100 small cubes here on this grid. So if I shade 70 of them, so this is 70 of them being shaded. So we shaded 70 out of the whole. So the whole is 100. So this top number becomes our percent because this is part of the whole. So this is equal to 70%. Or we can write, we can use a number line to help us represent these percent. So it's still seven out of 10 people prefer Crest toothpaste. So now we use the number lines to compare. So the first way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna just simply do it to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And on the number seven, which is right here, this is seven out of ten. So that's our original problem, for example. On the bottom one, I'm going to do it out of 100. So out of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. As you can see, it is still the same thing. So 7 out of 10 is really saying 70 out of 100. So our percent at the top is still 70%. Now, my favorite way to write percents is we can just simply use equivalent fractions. So if I have 7 over 10 is equal to, we know we want to get to 100, right? So we have to figure out what can we multiply by the top and the bottom by that will give me 100 on the bottom. So I know 10 times what number gives me 100. You know, what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So 100 divided by 10 is 10. So 10 times 10 gives me 100. So if I did 10 at the bottom, I need to do that to my numerator. So 7 times 10 is going to give me 70. So again, as you can see, 70 has been used in all three of our ways that we can represent percents. So 7 over 10 is equal to 70 percent. So for your assignment today, your example, we're going to be doing number three today on our assignment on that model. So we have to make equivalent fractions. Don't forget, when you're doing equivalent fractions, what you do to the bottom, it must be done to the top in order for it to make sense.